Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about some Black Friday deals for runners. I am at my in-law's house. The house is not completely full, but pretty full. So there's gonna be a lot of other noise in the background. So hopefully uh, this still comes out pretty clear. I have 10 Black Friday deals for you. Let's get to it. Otherwise this video is gonna be super long. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is for a GPS watch. The Vivo Active 3, the smartwatch that I had before this Nike watch is normally $270. On Black Friday deals at Best Buy, it's gonna be just $199. That is a fantastic price for that watch. Yes, you can get a cheaper GPS watch from Garmin, but it has some smart features, which I thought were pretty interesting. Uh, ultimately, I moved away from it because it wasn't smart enough, but if you're looking for a watch that has some smart features and is an excellent GPS tracker, I highly recommend that one. The second uh, Black Friday deal that I'm gonna be taking a very close look at is also at Best Buy, and it's for the Jaybird X3. Now they're up to the X4, uh, but it's a really highly regarded line of athletic earbuds. I haven't tried them myself, but I've been wanting to get into Jaybirds, and so this might be something that I actually pull the trigger on for tomorrow. Um, it's normally 129. I'm sure you could get it a little bit cheaper than that just anywhere else on the internet, but on a Black Friday deal at Best Buy, it's gonna be $59. That's kind of like, impulse earbud purchase price for me. So like 30 to 60, that's kind of like a sweet spot. Uh, I might just pick up a pair of those. Hey, let's who's look who's back. Hey, can I uh, do this? Maybe. Okay, yeah. see you later, go play with your cousins. Number three is uh, from Macy's.com. Macy's has some pretty good deals, but they're hard to kind of sort through and sift through because it's not like an athletic store. It's not an apparel store. It's not a running store, but uh, two things that I found, number three and number four. Number three is the Nike Therma hoodie. I got a black one recently from the Nike website. Uh, it's on sale there too, I think for 40 bucks. Normally it's 50, uh, but on a Black Friday deal, it comes down to 37.50, so it's even a little bit cheaper than that. I'm not sure if that's a Black Friday deal or if you can get that already right now, but go and check it out. It is a surprisingly hot sweater. So like that's something that I will definitely be running in in like the coldest parts of the winter. I'll probably put like a long sleeve underneath it and that, and then head out there. I think it's gonna do a really good job of keeping me warm. Number four in terms of my Black Friday deals to keep an eye on for runners is the, actually this long sleeve. So the Nike Pro fitted long sleeve shirt. Also another one that I got on Nike.com. Uh, it's normally $35, but at Macy's for their Black Friday deals, it comes down to 28, 25, so a little bit of a discount, but a shirt that I really like. It said it's a fitted shirt, so it's a little bit tighter fitting, but it's not compressive. So I think for a runner's build, it works out really, really well. Number five is, there's kind of a two-parter for this one, is from Adidas. Adidas has some pretty good Black Friday deals going on. The first is the Ultra Boost Parley, the white, the triple white version that I got earlier this year. That one I bought for $200 this summer. Adidas on their Black Friday deals is gonna knock that price down uh, by 30% down to $140. So if you're looking for a way to get into Ultra Boost Parleys, that's a pretty good way. Uh, if you don't want the triple white, and or if you wanna make it even cheaper, the black Ultra Boost Parleys, the black uh, upper with the white midsole, uh, that one is normally 180, and with their Black Friday discounts, it gets down to 126. So a pretty good price for some Ultra Boost. Number six is, I think, probably the best deal on this list. Uh, it's from Finish Line. You can get a pair of Epic React, even the color that I have, which I usually don't see online, and I especially don't see it in store. That is normally 150, but it's on sale for 120. And then if you add promo code BF25, it drops it down even further to $89. $89 for Epic Reacts, I think that's a pretty good price. Now the Epic React is a weird shoe. I didn't love it at first. I ended up loving it later on in life, which was weird and unexpected. Uh, and it can be polarizing. Some people love the look, some people hate it. Some people love the feel, some people hate it. Uh, but I thought it was a great deal at $90 if the Epic React is something you've been wanting to try or React Foam is something you've been wanting to try. $90 is I think about as cheap as you can get 
uh, and the Epic React, that color, it's, it's really good. Number seven Black Friday deal is from Foot Locker. That is the Dry Fit Essential Jacket. Uh, I don't have this jacket, but it's one that I've been really looking at. And it reminds me, at least in the pictures, of an older Nike jacket. You've probably seen me wear it. It's the gray one with like the black sleeves. I think it's similar to that one. And if it is, I might just have to pick this up. Uh, on a Foot Locker, you can use the code FRIDAY20 to get 20% off, but you have to spend 100 bucks. So the regular solid colors are 80, so you have to add something else to it to get the 20% off or just get it for 80. Or if you get like the camo, the urban camo color one that they have, which I really like, that one is 100 bucks. Use the code to get it down to 80. And then you got a really nice winter jacket, uh, winter running jacket for 80 bucks. So that's something that I might actually get. Uh, the next on the list, number eight, is from East Bay. I've been spending a lot of time on East Bay lately, uh, and they've been just doing a really great job getting good deals. It's kind of hard to figure out how to sort through all the stuff there, but if you can, it's worth it. For example, there's two items on this list. The first one is an Aero Layer Vest. Aero Layer is like Nike's super fancy and just beautiful looking winter running gear. And the vest is normally $80 on the site. Um, and with their Black Friday codes, BLKFRI, so Black Friday 20, uh, you could get that price down to $64. So $64 for a really nice winter running vest. That's a pretty good deal. And the other deal that I think is even better than that is for the uh, Fresh Foam Beacon. Now the Fresh Foam Beacon from New Balance is a shoe that's been on my list of shoes to try since probably about August. Uh, but for whatever reason, I, there's always another shoe that keeps bumping it on my list. Uh, I've been searching for it on the New Balance site, waiting for different promos. I keep getting like 20% off site-wide kind of invitations, either on Instagram or my email. And then I go try to put the Fresh Foam Beacon in my cart and it says it's not available. It's been super frustrating. But on East Bay, the blue color is the cheapest one. For whatever reason, that one's on sale everywhere a little bit cheaper. And that regularly on East Bay is uh, $100, $99. But with their BLK FRI 20, 20% 20 off, it brings the price down to 80 bucks. I'm definitely going to pick that one up. And then number 10 is uh, from Foot Action. It's kind of a combo deal because you have to spend a certain minimum. But here's how I got it laid out. So if from Foot Action, you get the Onitsuka Tiger, which is not a running shoe. I guess it was a running shoe. But if you're looking for a casual shoe that I think looks amazing, the Onitsuka Tiger in the yellow, it looks just, um, it's beautiful. I think that's, uh, I think that it's a super classic running shoe design. Uh, very sleek and inspired so many other running shoes. That one is $86 on the site. If you pair that with um, a Featherlight Nike Dry Fit hat, that puts you at the right amount to use their Black Friday code, which is BLACK20, and that brings the total price down to $87.20. And so basically, if you go there and you wanted to pick up the Onitsuka Tigers, it's like getting Featherlight hat for free. And those hats, I love them. I have them in almost all the colors that they make them in. And it's one of those things, uh, I use it for running all summer long, and even spring and fall. And it's one of those things where Anytime I go to a race expo and I can see them for in the $15 to $20 range, I just pick up another one, even if I already have that color, just because they're that useful to have and it's just a great all-purpose running hat. I just love to wear them, even like when I'm not running as well. And so that's the 10th deal. And the 11th deal I'll put in as a bonus because I couldn't quite get it to work out. So at Under Armour, they've got a 30% off uh, deal, Armour 30, A-R-M-O-U-R, for whatever reason, this Baltimore-based company uses the British spelling of armor. I've never understood that, but uh, you can get 30% off if you spend $100 or more. And here's how I wanted to stack these two things. So the Storm Cyclone Cold Gear jacket is just beautiful. I saw it in store the other day and it is amazing. It's only $70, so it's, my, it's one of those things where I'm probably gonna pick that up anyway. If you wanna get to 100, you could stack it with the Heat Gear Armor tights, the full-length tights, which are 35. But when I tried to use the Armor 30 coat, it wouldn't work for me. So I'm gonna try it again. Maybe it's cause that jacket is too new. It doesn't apply. Um, but those are two things. I think Under Armour probably makes the best warm tights. They're the most compressive and the warmest of all the variety of tights that I've tried. So for cold weather running, I usually look for Under Armour stuff cause it just, it's Under Armour. That's their wheelhouse, you know? And so, but cause I couldn't get that code to work. I'm not counting it in my top 10, but think of it as a bonus. Um, so those are my 10 
uh, Black Friday running deals do. I know there's tons of others out there and tons of other ways to kind of stack the different codes up, but those are 10 things that I'm looking at and I'll probably pick up a good three to maybe five of the things on this list. Just don't tell my wife. But um, before I go for today, I'm gonna to talk about today's charity runner. Today's charity runner is Claire Maxted. She's gonna be running the Derby 10 mile coming up and she's gonna be running in honor of uh, someone who's passed away. Her cousin, Catherine, her husband, Catherine's husband, Matt was an avid runner uh, and Matt and Claire bonded over running. And But unfortunately, Matt uh, so, very suddenly uh, and unexpectedly passed away while running, I believe. And so this run is going to be done uh, in his honor. And to further kind of honor Matt, uh, she's going to be doing the Derby 10 mile as a silent run. And so she won't be talking, making any conversation during the entire race. And she's gonna be doing that for him. And she's gonna be raising money for a charity, the Campaign Against Living Miserably, uh, which is a charity that Matt uh, always championed. And that is a organization that works to prevent male suicide. So uh, a couple of different layers of things going on there. Uh, take a look at her links in the description. I've donated $5 to her cause and I uh, would love it if you would consider donating as well. That's all I have for today. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching today. I uh, hope you had a great Thanksgiving or the fourth Thursday of November, depending on where you are. And uh, I hope you enjoy some Black Friday deals. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?